a special Black Tuesday box episode of... Brutal Battle. This is for the 2021, in air quotes, Black Tuesday box. Because they didn't actually do a box this year. We've done this review of the last two, so for the 2020 and the 2019, where what they were doing is releasing a physical box. And by they, I mean the brewery. B-R-U-E-R-Y. Um, they were releasing a physical box of four small variants of Black Tuesday, uh, which if people don't know, Black Tuesday is their super high ABV Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels, and then they do these interesting treatments to it, and then it just became this thing for a little bit where they were releasing these variants, and they're always in 375 milliliter bottles, so they're very easy to split between Rebecca and I, especially because they're so high in ABV, so... We're just calling this a box episode, Black Tuesday box episode, even though there's really no box, but they still did what they had been doing the past few years and released four variants. Uh, and they all sound very interesting, I will mm -hmm. say that. Now, because we're cutting our episodes down and cutting our drinking back, we are breaking this up into two episodes. So it's two beers for this episode, and then there will be a part two that will finish it out, and at the end of part two, we'll do our full ranking of the four beers. And we are drinking two at once. Sometimes yes. in the past we would do one and break it up into yeah. small snippets, but we're going to do two at once. It's much easier when they're this small. Yeah. You know, high ABV, but small bottle format. So, uh, very interested in all of them. They're very different, all of them. And, uh, yeah, let's start with these. So, I chose one for the episode. Rebecca chose the other for the episode. We're going to start with the one I chose, and that is the Connor's Cobbler Black Tuesday. It is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with raspberries and Madagascar vanilla beans. And this one's clocking in at 18.1% alcohol. I think this may be one of the higher ones, hmm. or maybe the highest, but we'll find out. We'll find out for sure. I'm not going to pour a lot. I'm going to pour like that. Does that look good? Sure. Okay, we'll do it like that because ooh, I almost had a mess. There we go. And I already opened these off podcast because they're waxed. And like they normally do with these, it's waxed with like a gold wax. And it's usually dipped, it looks like at least twice. Probably two times. Okay. Anyway. Oh my gosh, it looks like an Imperial yeah. Stout. Yeah, Carlin's like, make sure you turn the lights <laughs> on. I'm like, why? They're going to be stouts. We don't have to like evaluate the color. Yeah, but I want to read the flavor text after yeah. we try them. So I'm going to be able to need to read. I'm not as young as I used to be. My eyes need more light to read. Um, yeah, but, it, you know, when you swirl it up with higher ABV beers like you assume, you see the legs on the side. It comes down slowly because of that higher ABV. It smells so good. I smell a lot of raspberry. A lot of raspberry and a lot of chocolate. It's just like chocolate raspberry. It's interesting because the raspberry, I feel like, is then giving way the, this little bit of a floral note at the very end. It's like strong berry smell, and then it moves to floral. It just smells so good. I smell the vanilla, too. Yeah. It's just, like, just wonderful flavors. So I don't know why they called it cobbler, though. Because cobbler usually has, like, a graham cracker crust right, or, like or something. Right, or, cinnamon or... Yeah, some sort of oatmeal. crust. Oatmeal. Yeah, and that would indicate to me that there would be, like, a crust element in the beer, and there's obviously not. Well, although, maybe it'll taste that way. I don't know. Yeah. But just based off the smell and the ingredients, it's more just like choc chocolate, vanilla, raspberries. Right. Like which, an mode. You know, yeah, which, don't get me wrong, it smells amazing. It really does. And I don't really, like, I smell a bit of an, a higher ABV to it, but I'm not smelling something like an 18.1. Oh, man. I took my first swig. It's so much raspberry. It's in check, though, because it's balanced out with that chocolate. It's just a really nice flavor. Whoa. That raspberry, it's like a little tart, actually. Yeah, I could see that. You know how you get those yeah. raspberries? Like, some raspberries are just super sweet, but the majority, like, have a bit of a tartness to them. I could see that. There's a definite tartness to that raspberry flavor, and it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful raspberry yeah, flavor. Yeah, it's very tasty. Mm. Not perceiving the boot. I mean, I can tell it's higher in ABV, but I would never guess 18%. This is, put the danger sign up yes. on this one, because you can blow through this way faster than you should and end up with an issue. Good thing it's in a 375 milliliter bottle, because man. Oh man, I'm going to enjoy sipping on this later. That's really good. And 
I like that it's a strong raspberry, and then I think it gives way to a bit of that vanilla kick, and it ends with, like, a dark chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. It's a really nice dark chocolate that, that has, like, a little bit of a bitterness on the finish. The chocolate is almost fudgy. Yeah. I could see that. And as I continue to sip it, the chocolate that I'm perceiving gets stronger, and the raspberry comes down a little bit, which is good. Like, I'm totally good with that because the raspberry is very strong. This is one of the ones I'm really glad that they actually did actual raspberries instead of, like, a raspberry flavoring. Because la- raspberry flavoring is very medicinal and gross, in my opinion. This is really good. This is potentially dangerous. You can't really perceive how high it is. Yeah. Although, so after nasty. after three sips, I'm getting a warming in my throat. I was just going to say the same thing. I'm fe- definitely feeling warm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. It's really smooth, too. Mm-hmm. It's got this really nice, smooth creaminess to it. That one's really tasty. Let's get our rinse for our glasses. And uh, while, while you take care of that, I'm going to go ahead and read the flavor text on the Connors Cobbler. Black Tuesday is the perfect canvas for creativity in liquid form. Connors Cobbler was inspired by one of our very own passion for pastries and baking. A classic raspberry cobbler is, in fact, Connor's specialty. So, of course, we named this Black Tuesday variant after him. This delectable imperial stout was aged in bourbon barrels and then treated with a heavy dosing of fresh raspberries and Madagascar vanilla beans for a tasty treat Black Tuesday style. Yeah. It doesn't really taste. tell you that much. No. It. it just tells you more like the backstory, which is cool. I'm not even fine with that. But, yeah. um, yeah, it's good. I will say I don't get a lot of flavors imparted from the bourbon barrel itself. Right. I would agree Because of how strong the the raspberry, raspberry, vanilla, and chocolate aspect is. Yeah. But, hey. Not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Not complaining. Yeah. Okay, so the second and final beer for this short episode is Rebecca's pick. Is 24 Carat Tuesday. So you can guess what this might be. (laughs) Bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with carrots, walnuts, milk sugar, raisins, and spices. And it is 17.5%. And I keep singing the Bruno Mars song every time I look at the beer. <laughs> I, um, I'm a little afraid of this one. I'm going to be, be interesting. Honest. And when I say it was our pick, we kind of divided the four beers into the two we were excited about and the two we were like, eh, kind of on the fence about. Right, 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 yeah. Um, so I picked the, this was one of the ones we were kind of on the fence about. Yeah. Well, and one of the things for me in particular is I'm not a big fan of carrot cake. See, I love carrot cake. Right. So So knowing that it's like carrot cake inspired, it's like, A, how is it executed with the beer? B, will I be feeling a carrot cake flavor in general that day? Because it's one of those things where I don't know if anyone else has this. I'm this way with carrot cake and with pumpkin pie. It depends on the day if I want to eat it or not. Like, if I have a taste for it. Like, sometimes I'm into it. Most times I'm not. So, mm. I don't know. It's one of those weird things. But we'll see I what this is. I thought you'd be is. more scared of the spices. Well, yeah. But, but that goes along with the whole carrot cake aspect of it. I mean, I'm not going to care about the carrots in there. I'm definitely going to care about the spices. <laughs> I just got to... It looks the same as Connor's yeah. Cobbler, let's say. It just smells so spicy. I feel like... Are you getting the carrot? No, but I feel like it's... Now, tell me if I'm just perceiving this because I know what carrot cake is. I feel like I'm perceiving like a cream cheese frosting type smell. Yeah, there's like a cream cheesiness to it. Is that the milk sugar? Yeah. Could very well be. I mean, that that gives, like, a dairy aspect to beers. Um, definitely, it's... A, I'm getting a lot of cinnamon. Like, the spices are it's the pretty spices overwhelming. Are the spices are um, strong. But definitely cinnamon. Yeah, the spices are... They're Gin- strong, man. Like, some ginger, some nutmeg. I get clove in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, ginger, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon. Cinnamon's the strongest, obviously. Can't necessarily smell the carrot, but I get that, like, cream cheesiness. Is there vanilla in there as well? I don't think so. No. no it smells vanilla There are raisins in Raisin, it. Raisins and walnuts. kind of interesting. 
Don't smell the walnuts. No. I mean, this just on the nose, if you could convince me it's a pumpkin pie beer. Sure. I, yeah, it's I mean, I can see all those that. spices. All right. I'm even more afraid of this now to try <laughs> it based off that nose. Like, it's very spice-driven, and it's very carrot cake-esque. All right. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That's... That's a lot to handle. That's a lot. Um, I don't know if I'm getting the carrot, but I'm getting something else other than the spices. I don't know. I can't really discern what it is. It's very sweet. It is pretty sweet. It's like a kind of sickly sweet. I'm not a big fan. It's okay. It's not bad for what they're going for. I think it's overly sweet, though. And I think... They're very heavy on the spices. But then again, like when you're trying to do like a carrot cake inspired beer, what else are you going to do really? Right. So, I mean, I think maybe for me it's more like, it's just not my thing. Yeah. Personally. Yeah, I don't know. It's really sweet though. I get the raisin. I get the raisin coming through though. Okay. I couldn't smell it. I can taste the raisin. To me, it's just very spicy forward yeah i don't i'm not i wouldn't say it's too sweet in my opinion um it's just there's a lot of bitterness on the finish do you feel me on that um, especially in comparison to the connor's cobbler like that was just kind of like a little bit of a bitterness on the finish i feel like there's a very significant bitterness on the finish of this one i do get the taste of what i was smelling as being like a cream cheese frosting i definitely get that type of taste um, yeah, it's coming off of vanilla E as well. Okay. Again, I don't taste influence from the bourbon barrel other than high ABV. Don't taste the carrot. I don't taste the walnut, but I do get that little bit of that pr- proteiny mouth yeah. feel that coats your mouth that you get from nuts in beer. So I see the influence of it. Which may actually be helping with kind of a creamy quality to it, in addition to that milk sugar. Okay, so the back of this says also says, Black Tuesday is the perfect canvas for creativity in liquid form. 24 Karat Tuesday was inspired by everyone's favorite... Bruno Mars song? No. <laughs> everyone's favorite seems healthy but isn't dessert carrot cake. Or rather, 24 Karat Cake, because it's as good as gold if you ask us. This rich imperial stout was aged in bourbon barrels and then treated with fresh carrots, walnuts, milk sugar for the creaminess, raisins, and just a pinch of spices for a tasty treat Black Tuesday style. I think it's more than a pinch of spices. Yeah. There's a decent amount of spices in it. But that's another thing is like even a small amount of spices can go a very long way in a beer especially. Um, They also point something interesting out on that that I want to call attention to. It's that people think that something like carrot cake is healthy. Right. Or like healthy yeah, herb. Because it has because, carrots in it. Oh, there's veggies in it. It's still like packed with sugar and fat and it's terrible for you. People do that with stuff all the time though. They'll yeah. Just be like, oh, but there's a, a vegetable in it or something. Or like fruit cake. There's like, there's fruit in it. Fruit's good for you, but it's also like awful for you. Okay, so... Out of the first two, definitely oh, in the Connor, yeah. yeah, the Connors Hands Cobbler t- camp. Yeah, that's definitely where we're going on this one. Um, so, I'm even, I'm definitely more excited for the next episode, though, because the one I think is going to be very tasty, like even tastier than the Connors Cobbler, probably. And the second one we're going to have is very interesting, weird, and could be. A train wreck, but it also could be very cool if it's pulled off right. Yeah. But you'll find out what that is. Although, you know, if people already know what beers they had put out, you already know what it is. You'll be able to figure it out because what two beers are missing at this point. So anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this. Uh, if you want to email us, you just want to say hi, you have ideas for shows, beers you want us to try, you can email us at BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. You can get back episodes on the website, BrutalBattle.com, which also has pictures 
of all the beers for each episode. Uh, or you can go to archive.org, which is where we have our files hosted, and just search Brutal Battle, and that'll bring everything up. Uh, also on um, Untapped, uh, all one word, Carlton Malibu, is probably the easiest way to find me. But also you could try Carlin Cook or Carlin C. Rebecca C. Yep, she's Rebecca C. And then the Instagram. Brutal Battle Podcast. Yes, that's easy. And then go ahead and please do us a favor. Rate us and review us on whatever podcatcher you use. And iTunes helps the most. But also, what helps even more is word of mouth. Tell people about it if you know other craft beer fans who might like listening to this. So, anyway, those are things you guys can do for us. We'd appreciate it. But until next time, keep it brutal. Brutal.